Hey guys, so I spent a very long time this morning on John Lewis and Boots and other websites ordering lots of baby slash postnatal essentials. You know the things like nipple pads and maternity pads and nipple cream and nappies and baby baths and things like that. So it feels really good to get that done because that's kind of the last essential bits that need to be bought. So I'm slowly but surely ticking off all the things that need to be bought and done before baby arrives. Still not completely done. I probably will never feel completely done. Let's face it, when do we ever feel prepared for anything? Like even when I go on holiday, I think, right, I'm gonna do this and this and that and that before we go. And I never get it all done, but it always works out fine. I spent the last couple of days on the laptop in the flat. So I'm gonna head out, run some errands and continue to do some work outside of the house. Otherwise I'm gonna go crazy. But I've come into the baby's room because I wanted to show you a couple of things that have arrived uh, last week. And I've got a parcel that arrived earlier on this morning which I'm really excited to open. This is a blanket that I ordered off of Etsy about a month ago. It's come all the way from America, which is why it took quite a while to come. But it's also custom made and handmade. And I'm just so excited to see it. I've got a little card in here. And this is the lady that it's from, Lynx & Co. But I'll put a link to all the stuff that I show you in this video, like I always do in the description. And there's always a little section in the description that links the stuff that I wear and then underneath um, there's a section saying stuff featured in the vlog and this stuff and the other stuff I show you will be linked in there. Thank you so much for the purchase, hope you love it and I've got a 10% off my next purchase which is amazing because I'm definitely going to be ordering some more stuff from her because I really like her stuff but I'm covering it because obviously I don't want loads of you guys to go use it because I think that's probably a little bit unfair on her behalf. Inside will be the blanket. This is so sweet. Oh, that's so nice. So that's the blanket. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see it from here. But you can get them in cotton or wool. I got the merino wool one. All the blankets are cream and then you can choose any color pom-pom you want. And I wanted mustard because I love really earthy colors. I love mustards, browns, burgundies. So for now, I'm probably just gonna pop this over her cot like that um, and she probably won't use this for a while but I can't wait until we do start to use it because it's just so adorable and it's so soft <clears throat> so I'm just going to pop it here for now because I think it looks quite nice in the bedroom and then when the weather gets a little bit cooler that'll probably be when we start to use it these look quite dark on camera but they're a little little bit brighter I want to start adding some more earthier tones like mustards and burgundies just to kind of water down the pink walls a little bit another thing that we've got sorted is our changing bag. We currently have it just hanging on the door here. So this is our changing bag. This is from a company called Little Unicorn. I spent so long trying to find a changing bag that I liked. As usual, I was on Instagram because that's how I found the lady who does those blankets. I also found Little Unicorn and I tried to find a UK equivalent and I just couldn't. The closest equivalent I could find was, I can't remember, but below this one, I'll link the other one that's very similar. But I love this because one, it can be worn as a rucksack. But it's also a strap you can put over here so you can put it on your pram. And inside, it's just really spacious, stripy, which you guys know I like my stripes. Um, and yeah, just lots of room and lots of compartments and bits and bobs, just the usual stuff you'd have for a changing bag. But I like that it looks like a, a normal bag. I mean, I wouldn't really wear a massive rucksack like this normally, but I like that it's more my style compared to a lot of the bags that I saw. And I like that it's suitable for both Doug and I, because Doug's not going to feel silly wearing this because it's very unisex um, and it's both very much our style. So yeah, that's our changing bag that we got. And this is the other thing that I wanted to show you. So, oh, hang on, I'm struggling. <laughs> I can't reach over, my bump's in the way. <sighs> oh, this gorgeous doll that got sent to us. So a viewer, I think she watches my videos or maybe she just found me on Instagram. I think she watches my videos, but anyway, she messages, she, she messaged, she, she messaged me, she messaged me, 
she messaged me on instagram and she makes handmade custom dolls and she asked if she could make one for the baby it's gonna be so much easier when i can finally say baby's name <laughs> Not long now guys, not long now. But she asked me if I would like one and I looked at her work and it's just all so lovely. I couldn't refuse the offer. So we emailed back and forth, decided what I wanted um, and I could pick everything from the dress to the hair, the hair colour, the style of hairdo, the collar, the everything. And it came last end of last week and this is what she looks like how amazing is this all handmade two little buns with some pink velvet bows she's got a floral collar and a lovely dress and even at the bottom of the dress there's this embroidery it's just so much attention to detail she's just been in the corner guarding the cot until baby comes apart from editing the other main thing that i need to do is drop this ASOS will turn it off to the post office. Thank you for all helping me figure out which dresses to keep. I was actually quite surprised with what everyone's favourite was. Turns out the yellow floral dress uh, seemed to be the favourite. This was the second favourite. Everything else I'm taking back apart from the other floral dress. You know, the really big printed floral dress. Because some of you mentioned actually wearing it to the wedding instead of the other dress that I bought for the wedding. So I'm just going to decide how I feel on Saturday. And if I do need to take the floral dress back then I can just reprint a return swarm and send it separately oh my goodness me oh my goodness what are you doing scan an item or select an option I'm just sat here in Starbucks editing what's new <laughs> Actually, to be fair, I used to come here all the time to edit. I rarely do it anymore. But yeah, I'm sat here editing, almost got today's balloon um, ready to be exported and uploaded. And um, a couple of girls just came up to me and just said, good luck and congratulations to the baby and that they watched my videos and they just wanted to say hi. And I feel really silly because I just said, oh, thank you. And then I didn't say anything else and I feel really bad. I always really worry when I meet you guys because I feel like I've got so much to live up to. I don't want people to walk off and think, oh, she wasn't very nice. Enough talking. Get back I'm just going through the comments and it's comments like this that make me laugh. So um, the other day um, someone commented on the audio about how it's horrible um, and I just said that um, it seems to have been fine. You're the first person that, that, that the first person to complain about it. Um, there's not really much I can do about it. And um, someone here has just written: "There is nothing wrong with the audio. Maybe it's your headphones, speakers, or maybe you're just an ass." I'm not for negativity or people being rude to one another, but comments like that do make me chuckle. On my way home, I popped into BHS and I picked up a couple of these for the kitchen. I've had my eye on these for a while and I finally caved and bought them. So there's this cream coloured one and then a cream one. I thought they were really nice. And I can pop, I don't know, tea and some coffee in these. At the moment, um, I've got this for my coffee pods. Maybe I might put these in here. I think that will look quite nice there. Balloon is just about to go up. I am just waiting for it to complete the process and then I will hit the publish button. I pretty much edited my skincare routine. I'm just gonna go over it one more time, check the music and the levels and everything. Oh, good save. <laughs> Didn't get it on camera. Oh, yeah. 
So Sainsbury shopping has come early. I, I planned on getting the video, well I've got balloon up and I planned on getting my other video up um, and then steam cleaning the fridge out, like put my cleaning out and then getting my steam cleaner out and getting really into cleaning it and then unpacking all the food shopping. But the food shopping's come early, it's come like three hours early because they were well, they were delivering in this flat block anyway so they were like do you want your shopping early so we've got it early just unpacking the perishables and the frozen stuff and then i'll unpack the rest later so i may have bought a few packs of ice cream lollies <laughs> you're having fun there i'm sure downstairs is loving that <laughs> Oh my god. Do you know if that's burst resistant, like burst, burst proof, so that if you pop it, it just wheezes instead of pops? Do you know? Oh god. They can pop. That's why you get ones that are like, oh, I don't know what it is, burst proof or something. It's a good thing my boyfriend's getting more use out of it than I am. <laughs> this is for me to sit on. In case I do I've got, of course I've got to film you if you fall over. Well, have fun. I'm going to get on with my video. <laughs> Great, I've got this to look at all night. Whoa! <laughs> Thanks for dinner. Okay. Is that your new table now? Hmm. Yeah. Really enjoyed dinner tonight. Had fish cakes and sweet potato fries and broccoli. If it looks like I've been crying, it's because I have. I got some horrendous news earlier. I got a call from the person who um, does our NCT antenatal classes. She was basically informing myself and Doug and everyone else in the group that one of the ladies in the group lost her baby. Um, it's very sad and I'm not going to go into it just out of respect even though you don't know who she is or anything like that I just don't feel comfortable talking about it and I know if I talk about it too much I'll end up crying I literally I got off the phone and I just burst out into tears and Doug looked so worried he was like what's wrong what's wrong and I was trying to say what was wrong and I was just crying so much and I've literally been tearful all night now and I feel like I don't have the right to be tearful because I can't even imagine what she's going through it just makes you realize how lucky you are and it, I kind of just feel like I don't have the right to cry because it's not my, you know, it, it hasn't happened to me, but I just, I, I just oh, I feel, I just, my heart really does go out to her. Um, it would have been sad anyway, but the fact that I've had classes with her and she was only a week ahead of me in pregnancy. She was, I think about 36 weeks pregnant and her baby died and she had to give birth to her. It's very sad. Um, so that's why I've been a bit quiet in the vlogs tonight. I'm just in shock really. I was just about to get into bed. I'm half dressed, my belly's hanging out. I don't have a bra on, so I'm trying to keep the camera up here. Makeup's off, almost forgot to say goodnight. So I thought I'd quickly say goodnight and of course, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.